Hey guys, this is Orange and Mont from the Blue Berets Gaming. We're just doing you a quick demonstration on the uh, on the insurgency map we have on our Armor 3 public server, and it's also just to test out our recording equipment and setup as well to make sure it all works. Hello. Right. Just trying to see what we're doing now. This is the whole of Altus, and <laughs> we haven't even captured a square yet, so we, we, you know, small it's steps. Go it's going well. It's going well. You will have to forgive me, I do have a bit of a cold. I've uh, got a touch of the man flu. Okay, that's a guy. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any cover for me to move up to. Oh, I see one. If you can give me cover, I'll move up to this building. Yeah, hang on. There's a uh, there's one hiding just up the road by that white house. He's on the uh, the wall to the right. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'll uh, I'll take cover through these reeds. They ain't gonna get a shot on me from over here. I don't think cause that's, that's too far away for me from them. So if I can get through the reeds. <sighs> my first shot on me. So yeah, the basis of this insurgency mission, guys, is you've got to capture these squares from the AI, and obviously the bigger towns have more squares, and they're all over Altus, I mean, you know. And obviously the biggest... <laughs> Be being out is the biggest area to capture is Kavala on the uh, on the west side. Can't say we've successfully captured the whole area yet, but that's a hell of a lot to ask of two people at the for the time being. So <laughs> we we'll start off small and work our way around. I think. You've got um. You've got a guy two hundred meters to your. 11 o'clock by the church yeah and then you've got two more guys by your nine o'clock two three hundred meters out well, I'm trying to get if I can get to this little white house up ahead I can at least have a bit of cover I'm gonna have to belt it I'll try and get across but I've only got a sniper rifle so close quarters I'm gonna be kind of screwed yeah that's cool you can, if you can just stay put give me cover I've, uh, I've got to the house now so oh my god there's a recon in there oh, I can't see because of, of the bloody grass Oh my god, there's two of over there. There is a lot of them here. Ooh, this ain't gonna be good. You've got two coming in on your right, um, about 200 metres, um, along that belt of trees opposite the White House. Yeah. They're uh, yeah, wearing... I mean, if uh, I can get inside this house, it gives me a bit of cover from my all sides then, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to run back and switch kit because I'm literally too close quarters now for sniper rifle. Okay. And I've only got a pistol with two magazines, so... Is that guy not even dead yet? There is, there's, there's one. The other guy's in there, isn't he? One thing I three down. one thing I do love about insurgency, especially on Altus, is you can either come in on your own and try and capture squares and try and be Rambo, um, or you can literally come in with a huge like group of guys and just create coordinated attacks on on places. We have the, our first square. <laughs> Yay! Oh no, no, they got it back. Yeah. Well, I was happy for I was happy for like a split second there. But I think I know where the other guy is because I saw him run across this courtyard. Only another 599 squares to go. There he is. Sneaky. Do we have it now? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm getting shot at now. Uh. Yeah. 
<laughs> using third person in this game to its to its highest benefit is amazing. <laughs> the realism in this game is is fantastic. Nah. Yeah. Why oh, are you joking me? I could run across that little compound over there. Did you say there was guys on the other on the other side of the road to me? Yeah, on the right where their white house is, there's two guys in urban camo. Um, sort of, they're trying to flank back round to you. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's see if these bodies have got any loot for me. Just to let you guys know as well, I we do have a custom mod pack that we, uh, me and Martin, are, me and Monty are using. Um, um. Which can be accessed from us. Yeah, you can get them on Armaholic. Um, we're using the um, Foot Arm, F U T Arm camo, um, which is an absolutely fantastic camouflage uniform. Um, it's uh, made by the textures from the Altis Island, so <coughs> they blend in incredibly well um, in pretty much every area of Altis. Um, the guy who made it is a fantastic uh, content creator, um, and we also use various weapon mods. Um, and we do have a British Forces kit that we use occasionally as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to run over to this house over there. But I have uh, a feeling I might get shot. If I can creep along this wall. I need some magazines. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, insurgency is really hard um, if you're not careful. Um, the AI might look stupid, but they are really intelligently well programmed. Um, and will you? Saying that, I mean that that was a bit of a basic kill because he just ran out from behind a wall and <laughs> to kill me before, before I managed to get a shot off on him. But um, but nine times out of ten, the AI are pretty good and they will use their cover around them. Um, and they'll be kind of really clever about how they. Um, flank you and, and kind of stop you taking the squares. What what I what one of the features I love about this mission in particular is these vehicles here, the hunters, can actually act as um, like a mobile HQ, and you can just come up to these signs and just spawn on them, absolutely, or just teleport to them. They're brilliant. Which I'm going to use one of them now. I don't know which one I have. I think it might be Alpha. So I'll get over. I'll get back over there. Let's see if okay. You can jump to me. Oh no, they're I'll over there. They're over there. Yeah, there. Oh, we have a task. A side mission. <laughs> An identified any is lost at sea. The GPS coordinates have been sent to you. An identified any. Brilliant. So helpful. It could literally be anything. <laughs> Driven past them. Oh, they, they must be these marshals then. Are they the marshals? Let's just get out and have a look, shall we? Yeah, they are the, the, these little marshals. Alright, well, I'll be able to tell you which one I've taken so you can just jump to them, uh, Mont. Yep. You know they've taken the uh, square back, don't you? <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Sneaky little buggers. Alpha. Oh, I won. Bloody Nora. Okay, well, that was odd. What's that? I I, I, uh, I drove a, a fence, and <laughs> I sort of glitched through it, and the wheels are now ruined on this marshal. You mean you've wrecked our only decent piece of equipment? No, 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 there is another one. But I will get to... Get, I will get to the square. I'll, I'll just, you know, be a bit slower. <laughs> I'll grab a toolkit and fix it up. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just have to go nice and slow and steady. I think. Might be easier to with your lovely toolkit. But what I'll do, guys, for you is, is just jump to the part where it's all fixed up and we've taken and 
we were uh, <laughs> right to the square. We're gonna this is gonna take a this is gonna take a while. We're gonna perform. All right, guys, we're all back. Not too much success, unfortunately, the fact that the marshal is still unrepaired. So we've taken um, another precaution, and we're gonna make it go boom. Monty's gonna fix it by basically placing okay. a satchel charge under the marshal. Um, and then, no he's not, because his game's just crashed. <laughs> well, okay, this is a bit awkward. Um, I'll tell you what, mate. I'm not... <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay, hold on. Cut! Never work with children, animals, or fucking Windows-based software. Because this is shocking. Well, well, I'm not even sure, will a grenade make this thing go boom? Or I'm going to have to have a user satchel charge, aren't I? Okay, well, Monty has now returned um, from his Windows crash. Um, it seems that you can't work with children, animals, or Microsoft-based products. Um, apologise for that. We were <laughs> scheduled to blow up the Marshall, um, <laughs> but um, circumstances kind of changed that. So we will blow up the Marshall, and we will carry on with our insurgency mission, um, which is going quite well. We have <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> we have several squares, two. Squares. Uh, it's better than none. It's, it's, it's better, better than, than none. It is better than none. The enemy have taken them back, and we've got them back off the enemy. Um, I'm right. Finders. There we go. Do I have? Do I have them now? There we go. Please take. Them? Please take the night vision off your berry. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I know. Um, hold on. Let me just quickly save this. This people is a lovely virtual ammo box system so you have a selection of literally every weapon available in our game which, which makes it lovely only not in this mission because the creator um, decided to restrict weapons to side class only um, which is a bit of a shame but yeah I which is weird really because I do have the mod pack which allows me to have my sig here but this is not available for weapon selection <laughs> so you know I'm not even sure the ammo is actually. Is the ammo available? I can't even select the ammo for this. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Uh, virtual ammo box, here we go. Save that. Save the gear. There we go. Right, I'll just take I'll take my night visions off and stick them in my bag. Right. Do you want to for those of you who, uh, yeah, for those of you who want to do a mission, it's um, Insurgent Occupation um, by Black Mamba. Um, you can find the mission. Um, on Armaholic, which we'll put a link for on the YouTube video, um, along with the links of the kit and uh, weapons we use. Um, so I'll just jump back in the Hunter. Oh, I'll give it a quick salute before I jump in. Well, I mean, I, I know I'm your commanding officer, but you know, just, just jump in. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, bite me. Um, so yeah, this mission, um, as I say, you can play um, singly or in a pair, like we're doing. Um, or you can come in with a massive group of people. Um, I think it's geared for about 40 people. Um, so you can tweak it and edit it to however you want. Um, it is a real fun game. It will test your combat skills um, because the AI are oh, really good. As, as I just get run over there by my colleague. <laughs> <laughs> this is going so well. Have you got your satchel charge just to finish the martial off? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, just make go and blow that up. Right, if if I'll, if you I'll wanna, just, I'll just um, I'll co I'll cover you. And if, if you want to watch this from for, for Hollywood Effect, I love how you're covering me from like the inside the building. I know. Well, I was going to a better position upstairs, but I, right. I think a Hollywood explosion would would do us proud. I'm gonna put the satchel down, and I'm gonna hope and pray that Windows doesn't crash. <laughs> So just just to clarify, the the red triangles do represent such your charges. So you know, hopefully, yeah. because that's totally realistic in real life. You see red triangles when someone puts well, you know, explosives down. I can. It's obviously so that you can warn your teammates. But okay, I'm right, touching hold on, off. Hold on, Ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get into a good position. It may it may or may or not kill me, but I'm willing to sacrifice myself for you people. That sounded really dirty. I'm gonna okay, touch go. Okay. You already touched me. This is my third. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew it was funny as it was. <laughs> well, uh, now would be the perfect time to demonstrate the ability of spawning, but obviously we can't because we just blew up our spawn. So, I'll grab a hunter, 
and we'll progress on to the next square. I'm laughing so much, I'm getting shot at. Hang on. Oh shit, I need cover. Okay. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. The problem is, I couldn't get a decent position from anywhere else. Insurgent occupation brought to you by the Blue Berets. Yeah, if you want to play on the server, by the way, it's literally just a case of filtering Blue Beret, and we are. Yeah. One of the satchels didn't even blow up. How is that possible? We are, um, we are actually recruiting for people. Um, if anyone's interested, we're not a milsim or tactical group. We're literally just a group, a bunch of idiots that just want to go on and, and dick around and, and have fun um, and sort of shoot people. Um, so if you're interested, we'll put a link in in Teamspeak, um, in YouTube, Team and speak. our and our Teamspeak. Um, which which we have as well. So um, we're always looking for people to come along and, and have fun. Like I say, we're not a serious military clan. We don't base ourselves off anyone, um, and we don't have any strict rules or ranks or anything like that. We just come on and, and literally just have fun. So um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to see people on. It'd be good to uh, good to meet meet you all. And as I say that, we have Larry joining us. Good old Larry. I've no Larry! I don't know no who Larry is. is but but we'll, we'll welcome him like we know him. Yes, he, he's a regular Larry. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one he's here. Oh, we've captured the square. See, <laughs> that that is how that is how difficult this game could be. This is a case of walking into it and you, you cap it. I mean, sometimes the enemy will um, retreat from a position if they're overwhelmed. We found it. If you put enough firepower down, they'll they'll back out of the square. Um, they can obviously retake the square as you've seen before, and I'm getting shot at. Um, oh, oh, an arrow message. There we go. Get made, that, made that message go away. I'm just yeah, gonna you see. They they are just over in that field over there, the enemy, and they have retreated from this square. But um, um, there are three colour squares um, in insurgency. Red is obviously occupied by enemy forces. Green is occupied by friendly blue for NATO forces, um, and orange um, Not me. squares. <laughs> <laughs> the colour square signifies that the enemy are going to counterattack that square to try and take it back, um, and usually they counterattack with some form of armoured vehicle, um, usually a Madrid um, or a uh, a tank. Sometimes it's been known that we've been overwhelmed by a single tank. Um, so yeah, uh, if it's orange, they'll counterattack. They won't counterattack every square, but key squares in like big towns you'll find can turn orange. Oh, that was uh, terrible shooting. That was awful. Where are you? I, I, was, I was swaying. I Larry has joined us. I think he's just jumped in the vehicle because they keep getting notifications. <laughs> just check his position. I can't. I can't do it when I'm dead. Where are you, you big? T oh, you're miles away. I'm uh, I'm up by the church, mate. Yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll try to get across. Oh God, Larry's barreling down the highway on the uh, inner hunter. I can hear him. This is where I run across this flat ground and just get taken out. Where's he going? Oh, he's coming over to us. We can welcome Larry. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Good lad. Um, what's he doing? He's getting. R oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Larry. Oh, oh, that's that's good of him. Thank you. Uh, you know, I've got that really nice bug where I can't hear you. Oh, God. That's and there is Larry in his underpants. <laughs> What's up? Uh, you know, I can't even spawn up here either. I've got to take another <laughs> hunter. <laughs> um, you know what I'll do is actually go and fetch you the marshal and just not drive it into a fence this time. Uh, if you could do that, that'd be lovely. Um, I'm going to press ahead with Larry in his rather fetching underpants. wife fronts. Which actually look like they've got skid marks. Dirty bastard. Dirty boy. Ooh, getting shot at. Oh, I see where they are. Get some! The thing is, Larry's going to be quite, quite an, um, quite an obvious target if he's just in his underwear. <laughs> At least we've got camo based on the colour of the maps and the grass on this game, and he's just roaming around in his pants. Yeah, but Larry's like commando. He's hardcore. 
Oh wow, well, yeah, well, you know. Oh wow, we got Alpha. We got <laughs> we got <laughs> we got HM HM uh, MHQ uh, Alpha bag. <laughs> well, we would have if you could pronounce it. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. That's, that's I'm right. now down and bleeding, which isn't good. Larry, if you could heal me, that would be fantastic right by now. Hey guys, the second floor is down. And the field to the west is down. He's letting us know, but I don't think he's aware that you're down. Um, um, hey, Larry, hey, if Larry, uh, you could uh, heal me, that would be great. I, uh, I took a bullet took in the leg. In the I'm leg. kind of bleeding out. Took a bullet to the knee. <laughs> I took a bullet to the knee. Alright, I'm coming. I used to be a soldier like you, then I took a bullet to the knee. Now I sell real estate. I might just unleash the full power of a marshal just on these poor, poor infantry. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Seems like a legit idea. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm orange. Who are you? Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Poor, poor. Oh, he's just run out of my bed. Yeah, no problem. Larry there. He's a legend. Oh, wow. Am I just. Wow. Am I dead? No, I'm injured. <laughs> that shocked me. I can't move, there we go. Oh, I, think I'm, I think I'm injured. I've got no options, but I can't look around. Okay, I'm gonna do a hero. Oh! <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Larry, once again, is the only guy alive. He's really showing us. He's really showing us that underpants here prevail in, in combat situations. I know, yeah. Um, you know, if you if you wanna, well, how if you wanna, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Underpants is the way forward. You gotta you gotta charge across no man's land in in your underpants. Right. As much as 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 pleasant as it is seeing seeing a, a screen full of blood throbbing at me, I think we'll leave it there. You've got the basic gist of a. Uh, of, of the insurgency missions, we will be putting up more videos about how successful we are or <laughs> how unsuccessful we are <laughs> at this mission, depending on the way we view things. But um, we'll leave all of our details in the description below. This if you're interested in uh, subscribing to us, uh, please feel free to click the button. Um, yeah, I've been Montgomery, you've been a wonderful audience, um, and we will see you again in the theatre of operations um, very soon. <laughs> Larry's back.